Are you done with the Battlefield franchise? In today's video, I want to discuss this um, because there are a lot of moving parts happening right now with the Battlefield franchise. Obviously, uh, new leadership in the form of Marcus Leto opening a new studio and Vince Ampilla, who is the head of Respawn Entertainment and now the head of Battlefield. Um, with these new people in place uh, and also the balance changes coming supposedly to Battlefield 2042 and uh, the reworks that are going to happen, I wanted to know, are people burned by Battlefield? Are they now done with the franchise as a whole? So if, for example, they they start working on a new Battlefield game and it brings back all the things that they just completely ripped apart from uh, Battlefield 2042. So I'm talking like single player campaign. Uh, they have classes back. They have all the requested features that were missing from the launch of Battlefield 2042, which are taking a hell of a long time to release, mind you such as the scoreboard, VoIP, among other things, and of course, uh, bug fixes. Is it too late? Like, are you personally done with the Battlefield franchise, no matter what they do for the next game? Uh, have you been burned so bad by Battlefield 2042 that you will not even give a chance to other games, regardless of whether or not they go back to the Battlefield roots? Um, obviously, uh, something that is very important and might very well happen in the near future is Battlefield 2042 might just get its support cut. It's no secret that numbers aren't doing too good. The progress on bug fixes and implementing uh, features like VoIP and the scoreboard, very slow. And now they're planning on reworking some maps, but we've only seen a mock-up for a kaleidoscope so far. And, you know, season one was delayed until uh, early summer. So that kind of points in the direction that there's probably not a whole lot of people left working on Battlefield 2042 due to how poorly it launched and the amount of backlash the game got because of its, you know, overwhelmingly unfinished state uh, that anybody could see. Like, if you've been playing Battlefield or really any game ever, uh, you can see that Battlefield 2042 was not ready for launch. You don't need a background in QA. You don't need to be a game developer to see it. It's flagrant. It's just like you can see that the game was not ready for launch. So, like, they unfortunately, DICE and EA, put themselves in a tough spot. So they, they, they released the game that's not finished. They're delaying a bunch of content. Player numbers are dropping because there's not a whole lot to do in the game. There's still a lot of bugs and there's a lot of missing features. And the player numbers are dropping. So what do they do? Do they completely rework the game at their own cost, which I think they should? Uh, I don't think it should fall upon the players to pay for the shortcomings of the company from which they purchased the game. In this case, DICE. Uh, I think they should just bite the bullet and rework the game. But what I unfortunately think is more likely going to happen is they're going to develop the minimum amount of content that was promised for Gold and Ultimate Edition uh, purchasers. So the people who purchased or pre-purchased seasonal content for a whole year so the year one pass and then probably move most of the resources if not all of them to other battlefield games but by doing this the players that purchase battlefield 2042 are always going to feel cheated by EA and dice more so than already because that would be just them canceling support for yet another battlefield game so that would be twice in a row um and putting all the resources on another game. But on the flip side, if they don't pull support for Battlefield 2042, and they have a lot of people working on the game and future content for the game, so many people have been burned by the launch of Battlefield 2042, regardless of whether or not they got refunds, those people, um, they, they, are, they are probably never gonna come back. No matter how much effort you put into reworking Battlefield 2042, you've lost the majority of the player base due to poor handling of the launch. So, with all this taken into account, like, th does it matter to you what happens to the Battlefield franchise? Are you completely done with it? I wanted to make a video here talking about the possibilities of what's happening with Battlefield 2042, um, because they did say a while back that there was a lot more things that were coming for the Battlefield franchise um, with games tying into the Battlefield universe or something, but with how poorly Battlefield 2042 has done um, and continues to do, it's hard to see how they're going to get people excited for anything Battlefield related after the latest, uh, you know, trash. I'm just, let's just call it how it is. Latest trash that they pushed out 
for full price. So yeah, I wanted to discuss this and see what are people's opinion on the subject. Are you done with the Battlefield franchise? Have you had enough of EA and DICE's uh, bullshit? Or if they produce another game that has everything that you would consider a staple of the Battlefield franchise, are you going to come back? Are you going to pre-order it? Are you going to wait for reviews? Are you going to wait and see if the game is actually worth your hard-earned money and that EA and DICE put or any other studio that worked on it put sufficient effort into the product for it to be worth playing and bring you back to playing Battlefield. But anyways, I'll stop rambling now. I just wanted to get all of these thoughts uh, out there and opinions. Um, I'm kind of on the fence. I haven't played a whole lot of Battlefield lately as it's just not in a good spot. There are still so many, in my opinion, game-breaking bugs and lack of features and polish and balance issues that I really don't feel like playing it. I might give it a try if they rework most of the game, um, but, you know, when is that going to happen? That's probably going to take a substantial amount of time, and by that point, I might just move on to other games, you know, play something else. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a really sh shitty situation for Battlefield fans right now, um, regardless of whether or not you're still playing the game. Um, it's just an unfortunate situation that was poorly handled because of greed and short-sightedness by a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.